All right, uh, yes, we recorded though. We have uh, Nadia, maybe let me hope we have some people to join. But yeah, uh, this is stand up, uh, 27th uh, June, Kifia stand up. So, uh, we are week eight, week nine. So, let's hear from Nadia, maybe if you have anything uh, to share as a progress or any challenge. And yeah, we're gonna wrap up if there will be no one else has joined. So Nadia, I think maybe you are unable to speak, but in the chat box, if everything is fine, just if you just go through the experience, like how is it? If there are any challenges, what are you working on right now? Anything you share, then yeah. Nadia, do you think you're gonna share in the chat box? How are you able to speak? Okay, I guess I'll be waiting maybe. Hello, Abraham, how are you? Hey, Abraham, can you hear me? How are you today? Uh, hi, Amelia. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, maybe before before I hand the mic back to you and see Nadia shared in the chat box, I'm still struggling to work on on one task three and four till late afternoon today if i'm not able to do it i will ask for help okay so you're struggling like, what's exactly the challenge now if you're struggling and you're just waiting what if you ask uh the assistance now instead of struggling nadia maybe you can respond via text mm. Yeah, all right. So, uh, Abraham, uh, what's the progress? Is there any challenge? What are you working on? Like, how is it? Just if you can shed more light on how you're coping up with everything. Yep. If there's a challenge or anything. Okay. Uh, okay. Am I audible? Yeah, 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 loud and clear. All right. Okay. Yesterday, I I did manage to submit uh, the the final submissions, both the report and the, the GitHub link, but I didn't uh, completed all the required tasks. I I I didn't start task uh, four, uh, and I am on uh, task three. Uh, so that uh, that's the the progress uh, I have made so far. And uh, today I am planning to uh, complete <coughs> task three and move to task uh, four. The problem I have faced so far is when I try to uh, run uh, uh, the, the shape uh, to, to explain my model, uh, you know, it, it took too much time. Uh, uh, the the one say uh, last time I waited for like two two hours, and after waiting two hours, it, it got me uh, explainer error. It says explainer error, so uh, that uh, took me too much, uh, and uh, I was not able to to progress uh, so much. So <laughs> that that was uh, my my challenge. Uh, so far, uh, thank you. All right, uh, thank you. Maybe uh, before we go to the next, uh, we have tutors here. They can reflect on that. They can help you on that. As well as Nadia in the chat box, I think. Okay, while working on the sharp model, I used to I use the matrix of my train test that I. They named it future test, but it took me so much time plus showing errors. Okay, I think uh, you can handle this to AI, maybe. Okay, Rod. There's Nadia, um, there's also a brand for the challenges. Uh, I you. think it, it was raised uh, yesterday, and Carol like was trying to explain that. Um, my suggestion was uh, if it was from your computational processor uh, and also the related to the models that that's mainly where uh, usually uh, models 
get slow. So, uh, Kerod, can you add more on that? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so during the Q and I think we have discussed about this. So, uh, especially the model explainability, um, especially for uh, extra, uh, like for the force plots in the description plots, uh, it's a bit uh, uh, like computational intensive. So, uh, my suggestion would be um, like first of all. If you do it for a couple of just a couple of models, that will be uh, good. We just want you to understand it and have uh, some kind of um, like uh, familiarity with it. So, uh, so if you understand how to do it, uh, and if you show us that you have understand how to do it and how to interpret the results, I think that will be enough. Uh, so, like I have said earlier, like yeah, yeah, said. It's a bit computational uh, intensive, so especially for uh, like uh, ex like uh, except for the uh, random forest and the linear regression, the risk could be a bit uh, intensive. So if you show that you have understood how to use uh, the frameworks for these two models, uh, I think that would be enough. Okay. Um, Amazing. So, Abram, you okay, right? I've seen your reaction. Yes, yes. Uh, I think uh, it actually worked for me for uh, logistic regression. So, I can I can consider that in the progress to the rest of uh, my task. Okay, amazing. Uh, Nadia, are we also good? Waiting to see your reaction, if everything's fine. Nadia Nisib. Just wanna make sure like you're good uh, with your challenge the chat box if they reflected on it or if you have more clarification to ask what does it mean it, uh, it doesn't fit uh, ren okay uh, so what we have said is uh, if you show that you have uh, done it on a simpler or and um, for less computational intensive model then we can like conclude that you have understood and know how to do it so we're not saying that you have you can just jump the task but you have to do the task and uh but you're not expected to do the explain the model explanatory for all of the modules since most of them are um, intensive computational intensive so if you do it for two more models like Abraham did, and if you explain uh, their results, their meanings, then we are good. But if you are having problems for this, for even the uh, less computational models, then uh, yeah, you need to show us and we, we can help. Amazing. Thank you so much, Kerod. Um, so I think we're good with Nadia's. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that was it. Since we don't have a new one joined, uh, we can wrap up. Maybe they will just uh, consider the recording. So I think we meet in the CBS. Yeah, we only have CBS today and independent challenge work. So let me find something. Uh, we can do for CBS. We have CBS exactly 2.30 p.m. This is African time. So we have almost two hours. Yeah. All right. So I think that's it. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. And yeah, let's call it a day. <laughs>